much when there's, there's been around areas like Kinjola. Uh, so for the southeastern part of New South Wales, there's still severe weather warnings active at the moment and we're anticipating a very wet day today, further 100 millimetres plus in some areas uh, in the southeast of the state through the remainder of the day on Wednesday. By Thursday, the heaviest rainfall will be starting to target Victoria and we expect to see those rainfall values really dial back through southeastern New South Wales on Thursday and by the end of the week it should be much drier. Of course, the flooding risk can persist even after the rain has stopped falling, so that may well last several more days. Also of concern coming up are forecast thunderstorms and supercells that may be approaching the northeast part of the state. Uh, those supercells may also have damaging gusts of wind and large to giant hail. Again, the New South Wales SES has pre-positioned assets and flood rescue teams and equipment and people to deal and respond to that, but the most important thing we can do is ask the community to stay safe, make sensible decisions and not drive into floodwaters. Thanks. We undertook a number of rescues overnight, uh, seven at the moment. Uh, seventh one is currently underway and now at the moment. Uh, there's no serious da da danger for anyone there, it's just a car that's driven into floodwaters. Uh, those two people will be extricated very shortly. Uh, what we're going to continue to see is more heavy rain in the southeast corner of the state over the next 24 hours. We've got forecast falls of over 200 mils along a various locations on the south coast and the potential for falls up to 300 millimetres. Of course this will uh, result in further flash flooding.